today we have the cookie cutter shark. Now, cookie is an American term for biscuit, as we call it here in the UK. So I guess uh, in the UK we could call it the biscuit cutter shark. What's that all about? Um, so, yes, this one is a bit of a nightmare because um, it'll take a chunk of your flesh out of you. In fact, some open ocean swimmers have had cookie cutter shark bites. A um, dogfish type shark, uh, often living in open and perhaps sometimes deep water. And it, it has a mouth which looks like it's got a bit of a band saw in it. It's also got some, some big rubbery lips around that saw, so it's got a sucker. They come in shoals of 20 or 30, apparently. And in some places in the world, like Hawaii, all the dolphins have got cookie-cutter shark bites on them, uh, so they're quite common. So it's quite stealthy, and it comes up to the dolphin and grabs on, sucks its, its, its mouth onto the dolphin, and then uses this kind of bandsaw-sharp rows of teeth and twists out a little chunk of flesh. And you can see these little round marks about the size of a um, jam jar lid. And uh, so quite a substantial bite. And, and uh, again, quite a good strategy because it doesn't have to kill its prey to eat it. It just has to find something sufficiently big to go in and take a chunk out of it and then often chomp. Yes, you've got to wonder about nature, haven't you? How uh, every single idea that's possible to exploit has been exploited and this is an example of it. Uh, uh, you've got to admire it even though it's really creepy.